This video will use the Outlook Inspired app demo as an example. It will demonstrate three different ways of using the camera controlled set an employee's picture. As you can see, by default, no camera specific commands are available in the picture edits context menu. To open this demo in Visual Studio, first go to the start menu and then select the demo source code item in the DevExpress group. Navigate to the WinForms Outlook Inspired app folder and double click the solution file. Once the solution is open in Visual Studio, use the Solution Explorer to navigate to Modules, Employees, and finally, Employee Edit View User Control. Access the Picture Edit Settings and expand the Properties section. Note that the Editor's Store mode is set to Fight Array. This will be helpful later. Now change the Show Camera Menu Item property to Always and run the application. In the Employee Edit form, right-click the Picture Edit to find a new item titled Take Picture from Camera. Click it to invoke the Camera dialog. The icon in the top right corner allows you to access camera settings so you can select the device or adjust brightness, contrast, and saturation. Once you're done with settings, close the Options dialog, click Capture, and then Save. The picture is now updated and you can save the record and return it to the list view. You can call the same dialog manually, not necessarily via the context menu. Select the picture edit again and now handle its double click event. The handler calls the invoke default camera dialog method that does the job. As you can see, there's a take picture dialog class that you can invoke using the show dialog method. If the dialog returns OK, then you need to obtain the image and convert it to a byte array, as was specified by the editor's store mode option. To convert, use a memory stream and then call the toArray method to obtain the value for the editor. Now run the application. You can double click the picture edit to invoke the same camera dialog. All the functionality is exactly the same, including the Options window. You can take another picture and save the record. You can also build a custom image capturing dialog. In the Solution Explorer, right-click the Employee folder and select Add Windows Form. Set up the form layout to include a camera control which is available in the toolbox under the dx.winlib category. The form will also use a separate picture edit and three buttons, similarly to the default dialog. Set the dialog result for the OK, and Cancel buttons to OK and Cancel, respectively. Double-click the Capture button to handle the click event. To obtain an image from the camera, call the Take Snapshot method. Then assign the image to the picture edit so you can view the snapshot and the camera view simultaneously. The last step is to update the image data field that stored the image as a byte array. This field is available via a public property. Once again, a memory stream and its two array method are used for conversion. Note also that you should stop the camera control when the form is closed to avoid camera access conflicts. Switch to the Employee Editor module. In the Picture Edit's Double Click Event Handler, call the Invoke Custom Camera Dialog method. This method initializes the newly created form and shows it in the dialog mode. If the dialog returns OK, then the public image data property is used to specify the editor's value. Now run the application. 
If you double click the picture in the employee editor, you'll see the new custom dialog. Notice that camera settings are still available. Press Capture to display a snapshot on the right hand side, while the live camera view is still displayed on the left. Click OK and save the record. And that's it for the overview of three ways to capture images from the camera with the new WinForms camera control. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.